Okay, this is day four of a five-day water fast with Dr. Michael Clapper. And I don't know if he does this for everybody else, but <laughs> I think that it's worth reaching out to him and say, hey, can you do me too? Anyway, uh -huh. I just wanted to say thank you, Dr. Clapper. Um, today, I am completely off. Uh -huh. Not off like a but off as in I have no, no show today to do. Uh -huh. uh, and um, I got up early and went to the beach, caught the sunrise, which was really cloudy. I shared uh -huh. my expressions on that on a YouTube video that's going to be coming out soon. But um, I'm just, we, we lost two of the, so um, I'm one of the three that we're, we're in the little support group and both Alejandra and Victoria were really sick yesterday and they decided to break fast. And that's okay, we're celebrating three days Yes, absolutely. That's the exact right attitude. It's not a contest. Uh, just just uh, ask the body what it, what it wants and it tell, to let you know and just listen to it. So, yes. so be it. Good, yes. good for them. They'll yes. be okay. Yes, they will. Yes, right. Yes, they re-equilibrate quickly. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, how are you on this day four? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm well. I am uh -huh. well. Okay. I, am, I am thinking I, I am going to make it through to the fifth day because as you know, I have not set myself any expectations. And uh, before the fast, everybody told me I couldn't do it because I eat almost every two hours and mm -hmm. sometimes even more. And even though I, I understand, um, you know, Dr. Furman, I'm, I'm a nutri I, I follow a nutritarian lifestyle, more whole food plant-based. Um, if, if, if any animal products, very, very little. Um, but I never understood how my food, um, my relationship with food was dysfunctional. Even though I ate well, even though I understand nutrition with all the wonderful teachers that we've had in the classroom, I still had a program that if I didn't eat every two hours, something would happen to me. Because as a child, I was hypoglycemic, and I was told oh that that's how I needed to eat every two hours. Oh my. So that's been ingrained in me. And in, the, in high school, it got to the point where, you know, um, I had so many digestive issues. And I really do believe that what I'm going through in this on day four um, of, you know, like each day, what I think I'm going through is a spiritual awakening. I walked into, like when I left my office last night and I walked into my kitchen or, or the, the living area, I smelt onions. Huh. And I, I said to my husband, did you make onions? Did you cut up some onions? And he goes, no. And I had a bunch of green onions in a glass that oh I didn't even my. knew smelled. Oh and, and I walked out and went, oh, and I love green onions. And I'm like, yeah. wow, those wow, smell look wonderful. At that. Look at that. My sense of smell has come back in a higher level. I, don't, I hope it doesn't go away. I used to be like this. And somehow it has stopped. And so I don't know if you have anything to say about that. Oh, absolutely. Lily, you're right out of the textbook. We're writing a, a textbook of clinical fasting. You would be, you know, you're just touching all the bases as you go through this. Yes, and of course, when you think about it, that's right. We, we're constantly slathering our tongues and our nasal membranes with, uh, you know, certainly foods and salt, sugar, fats, uh, but even the air, the air pollution, all that, our senses, you know, either shut down, they become less sensitive. And now you've just been washing those membranes for four days now with fresh yeah. water and, and not asking anything of them. Yeah. And, you know, they're like you know, the meerkats that are come, putting their head out from the hole there and say, it's okay to start smelling again. You know? <laughs> and uh, wait, wait, wait to see how the watermelon tastes. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, it's a wonderful thing and it's a lesson. Course, you know what eating has become, uh, and how much it, it, it jades are, you know, are, are 
experience. Yeah. But how interesting for you. What a remarkable uh, gift to get out of your, your you just, I'm going to do a five-day fast, but look at what you discovered along the way. You're, you're going to yeah. realign your entire relationship with food. Yes. And see, you see the girl you were so long ago that, that bought into that and how that has shaped you and now how liberated you are. To, yes. to, to eat, you know, when you're hungry and, yeah. uh, and nothing bad's going to happen. Yeah. If you lunch, you, you miss four days of lunch and so nothing bad happens. And uh, uh, this is just a wonderful, wonderful experience. Uh, you're, you're getting your 50 cents worth. I don't know what you want. <laughs> it's just it's great. And before we move on, I, don't, I didn't want to dismiss your two companions lately. Something happened there and... Um, we can speculate what it is, and again, this is why if there's any question, you know, you want to be at a place like True North or uh, 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 Dr. Uh, Gracie's uh, place. There are places that will supervise you. But what may well have happened, they, they were, ran into a big league detox reaction, and, the, and a lot of stuff comes out of your tissues, and, and it's on its way to the liver, and the kidneys to be excreted, but along the way, it passes through the vomiting center, and it changes our, you know, it goes to our liver, which that then releases uh, various molecules that can make you feel really funky. Yeah, yeah. That's reaction, but it blows through, and, and you know, it's just seldom fatal, <laughs> and never is, I'm joking. And uh, in a way, that's kind of why you're doing this fast yes but that said it's nice to have someone around saying this is okay uh, you're, you're going to be miserable this afternoon you'll feel better by the morning i'm right next door if you need me nothing yeah. bad is happening i yeah. hope you're going to check your pulse it's nice to be in a place where somebody can, can walk you through that but i expect that you must may run into a detox and uh you feel crummy for a day or two but but it blows through yeah. but if, you, if, if you're having shortness of breath or uh regular heart there's something else again you want to get checked out before you yeah do. and and um when it came to alejandra that was like a self-sabotage we talked about it today she showed up right. in the our conversation this morning uh -huh. you know she flew and not right. only did she flew she worked the whole day and not only did she work a whole day um her favorite hockey team was playing so she went to with her boyfriend to a a bar and when she went up the elevator and came out the elevator she went into this, you know, um, you know, it, it, and we oh talked my. about it today and how sometimes oh. we do sabotage ourselves. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's not the way to conduct it. A, a, no. a water bath. You are doing your home. You're, you're yeah. fully present. And look at the benefits you're getting. Yeah, you, you've got the right. Uh, so she, she is aware that the next time she does this, uh, right. she, I mean, she's exceeded. Uh -huh. uh, so we're, we were, we celebrated with her because she right. took it one day at a time as well. Yeah, great. And, and she realized that, you know, that she had forgotten about the fast. She made this commitment. And so she, she was in very good, a very good place. Uh, good. Victoria uh, sent me a, an email and said that last night she woke up. Um, I forget what time she woke up. She wasn't feeling well. Mm -hmm. And, um, she she started you know her heart was racing she was having stomach cramps and yeah. um and and just wasn't sure. feeling well of course she was sure. having a toxic reaction sure. of course. And, and, that you're talking about and then she broke yeah. fast with watermelon uh -huh. and the watermelon caused yeah. diarrhea and i'm thinking hmm. why did it cause diarrhea i haven't had a bowel movement since mm -hmm. the morning of my first day of fasting. Right. And I wanted to talk to you about that because yeah. I haven't had a bowel movement all yeah. day long today. I felt like I'm, I, I was going to, but I haven't. And right. I, I go two to three times a day. Uh huh. Right. Okay. Uh, we'll certainly uh, deal with that important issue. Uh, before, but your friend here has given us a gift, you know, uh, an example of how seriously about how not to do a fast and how you don't, you know, you can't be bopping around your busy 21st century life. Oh, I'm doing a water fast too. And the, this demands your attention. It demands you put aside the time and you be fully present, you know, for yes. one, for all the lessons you're going to learn about your own body and discipline and all that stuff, but for safety reasons and to avoid running into what you ran into. And if you do feel a little whoopsie, you know, you're home, you toy got the toilet next door there, you know, you can get through these things. But this mm -hmm. requires your full attention. It's a spiritual, physical undertaking. Yeah. And, uh, and that, that she thank you to her for showing us how 
no, no, not to treat that. Yes. And you guys are an interesting contrast. Um, as far as bowel function goes, <clears throat> I've seen a full range from people who just shut down and don't have any bowel, significant bowel action at all, uh, to folks who have uh, quite a number of them in the five days. Yeah. Um, the, um, and there's a couple of reasons. One, it depends you know, what your diet is before this. Uh, if you're eating a whole food plant-based diet, you should go into it fruits and vegetables only for at least three days. Yes, and I did five. that. Absolutely. So, you know, your last bowel movement or two, you empty out pretty good. The intestine's almost 30 feet long. You have 22 feet of small intestine. And, and nobody really has a completely empty intestinal tract. And so it, as the days go by, a fecal mass will work its way down. they would be mm -hmm. kind of resting there quietly. And one day three, you have a bowel movement. It, it's okay. It's just the intestine. Uh, you know, it's usually always moving. So as it started a little movement there, I kind of settled down and pushed a little stool mass down of no significance. And, um, and folks, especially those who don't eat a high fiber diet, who eat the, the processed foods and the, and the white breads, and et cetera, and meats and dairy, um, in, the, in the outpouchings of their colon, these little, uh, the colon has these outpouchings called haustra, and they slow down the fecal stream to give the colon enough time to absorb water out of the fecal mass. And, mm -hmm. and um, these little outpouchings can get filled with balls of stool that can, can work their way out. And you know, sometimes, be, oh, day 10, I had a it's just the colon starting to clean itself out there. It, none of it matters a heck of a lot. You know, as long as it's coming out, let, let, it's going to all depend on you know what you ate before and your microbiome, all stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, you, again, it be zen. Whatever is going to do bowel movement, no bowel movement is fine. Um, it's uh, this is a time to let the things come back into a baseline resting state. The colon will eventually empty. Inflammation subsides. And everybody does it in a different pattern, a different rate, fine. Um, yes. As long as, the, again, those three major important questions. Um, any, uh, any nausea to the point of vomiting on this day for no. you? No. Okay. no. no. Any, um, any pounding headache? No. 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 A little, little blood pressure? Just that any one time. Just that one time that I just had a... Right. Um, but not today. Not since we've talked since. No. No. And... Um, and are you getting real lightheaded when you stand up? No. Great. Okay. No, I feel great. I actually, right. I actually drove to the beach this morning. Uh huh. Okay. I wanted to catch the sunrise. Great. You know why? Uh huh. Because I know I can get photons when I stare at the sun. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, um, I, I only live, I only live, right. I but, only live uh, half a mile from the beach. Just yeah, the issue is, kidding aside, people have low blood pressure in a fast. By day three or four, pressures can drop really low, especially in a petite woman like you. When you're driving your car, you're, the blood is pooling in your legs as you're sitting there. Oh, okay. And so your blood pressure drops, and the danger is going at 30 miles an hour uh, down the road. There, oh, I don't feel so good. I'm getting kind of lightheaded. Uh, and, and people pass out at the wheel. The, the kind of serious business. So you really don't want to do that on a water fast. That's okay. what I'm saying. You okay. put out these days and just be there. You, you can go take a walk to the route of the bear or somebody else can drive you. But but if, if that happens in the car, you lean, you put the, in the passenger seat, uh, you put the seat back, you put your feet up on the dashboard and you get that blood back up into your head there. Okay. Uh, but it can really happen. You know, that's what we talked about. Why not take a hot shower during a fast? Because it drops your blood pressure. Well, just sitting does that. So um, we're, to, we're to the wise there. Okay. Yes, that's that's very good. I didn't realize. I felt so good this morning. Yeah, I, great. And you and you really are. I agree. Um, but for safety's sake, and also for your viewers who are watching, to be yes. responsible here. The, this is serious business. I don't want people putting themselves I, I anybody be, else at, at risk. Yeah, but, I wanted to be a teacher of what not to do. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. You and your your friend there. Okay. Hey, we're uh, all teachers. Enough. We we're teachers. We are we're not absolutely. Teachers. We teach best what we most need to learn. I <laughs> do, uh, and um, want to just quickly check your pulse here, although it's yes. probably up from the. Uh, uh, from the left, you're there, but let me get my uh, my stopwatch up here. And I'm ready when you are. Okay, fair enough. Hold on, come on there. You can do it. Well, there we go. Yes. All right. 
We said, okay, ready? One, two, three. Hold on, I lost it. Okay. How, how, why does that happen? Um, just so you want to curve your fingers so they're coming right down onto the artery. And uh, you can press a little deeper if you need to, but it's just a tube that doesn't really move there. But um, you got it there? I think I got a good one. I got it. I got a good one. Okay. All right. Count of three. One, two, three. Stop. 19. 19. So it's uh, 76 a minute. Lovely. So um, I would so the <clears throat> I would turn to the interns and I would say, don't leave this person's presence until you've answered yourself solidly in your in your head the question, is it safe for her to fast one more day? She's one telling you she feels good. Number two, uh, no, no headache, indicating low blood sugar, no nausea, indicating toxemia, and uh, she's not getting real light when she stands up. Feels good, got a pulse of 76. Feel any reason for her not to fast? And they would say, nope. And I'd say, fast on, right? Fast right on. on. Fast on. You are doing fast great, on. seriously. But that's how, that's how it's evaluated about whether it's safe to fast another day. And yeah. yes, you, you certainly pass with flying colors. Yeah. You're doing great. Good for you. Good for I, you. I am so thrilled. I, Wonderful. This has blown me away. Absolutely yes, blown me away. And I know that you need to go because uh, you have another appointment. But I, I am just uh, so grateful to you. And hopefully uh, we'll be able to communicate a little bit sooner on the, uh, I'm sorry about the all the, the okay, we will. I'm very, very happy that I'm doing okay. this. Thank you so much, Dr. Sure. Okay, have a gentle day. Move around yeah. kind of easy. Get some, you can, it's a great day for meditating, great day for writing, great day for just being with your with yourself there. So yes, enjoy yes. it deeply and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, you too. Take okay, care. bye. bye, -bye.